Alright guys, now the video of the model you've all been waiting for, the Emirates A380. Alright, um, first of all, really sorry for this lighting, it is really bad on this camera, but, again, this is, as you can see, this box is different from all the others, and the reason I put this video as an in-depth review instead of a regular review is because, um, I'm going to focus more on reviewing one model than those when I buy in bulk, where I'm kind of rushed, because I don't want to make a very long video and then I kind of bore you guys to death. So this one is going to be kind of longer. And I'm going to have some size comparisons, my thoughts, um, some stories. And yeah, and I already have great things to talk about here. For starting off just from the box itself. The box itself looks something very, very different than your typical Gemini Jets box. It seems more that they're advertising Emirates itself than the Gemini Jets company itself. So look, they have this, this, this in the Emirates font, Emirates, Emirates official product. It looks more like Emirates built it, which again would be really cool because Emirates is a world-class airline known for their insane wealth. And yeah, you don't actually see a Gemini Jets logo here anywhere, which is actually kind of strange. But Again, if you look at the item number, it says Gemini Jets in those two initials. That's the only indicator, though, that you're buying a Gemini Jets product. So, yeah. This aircraft here, I saw it in real life in LAX twice. It's beautiful. These Dubai 2020 Expo um, aircraft, they often get neglected. Like, some people didn't like it, how they kept on releasing the blue one after the orange. I saw all three. They're all really nice. And I think you should give these a try, especially since, like, on Amazon, they had one for, like, a discount price. But I just bought it at the same shop just to avoid shipping. And, yeah. So, let's unbox this Gemini Jets A380. Whoa. One thing to say here, the model here is ridiculously heavy. It's super heavy, and that makes sense because it's just such a massive aircraft. And... I wonder what will be different. Alright, got the covers off. Again, like I told in the previous video, these big aircraft look like they're not even proportionally to scale. And this follows the example. This is ginormous, I swear to you. This is beautiful and this is big. Let me lift this up. Oh, shoot. Wow, oh, wow, this is also something very new, they have the Emirates logo on the back with the small Gemini Jets thing. 
Um. Wow, I'm shocked. And look at all this landing gear. It really shows you the true size of this beautiful and a breathtaking model. I'm this serious about it. The it's just insane. The the engines they're they look really good. The tail looks pretty similar. I have seen many A380 tails cuz I live near Los Angeles, so I I see quite a bit of these and this exact airplane. Um let me see. I'm just checking everything's there which is also great and yeah what you really don't get to see unfortunately is model airplane stores and you can actually see the monstrosity and the humongousness which is not even a word by the way of these models you online you can see it but off the measurements but again it's not even the same like let's compare this to my Sabina A320 Let me just get it here the biggest A380 and one of the, no, the and one of the smallest. Look at the difference. The, this thing looks three times bigger in almost every single dimension. The Air Airbus A380. I saw them before. Um, engines make up 50% of the cost, so I'm pretty sure each engine's worth 100 million dollars, resulting in the total aircraft here to be worth 800 million, which again is pretty expensive but I was looking by this beautiful model you have to buy an A380 mo model from Gemini Jets once in your life it's really nice very nice very very and the wheels spin so yeah um if you have a chance to buy an A380 for your airport and you think it's reasonable like go ahead because this A380s are something really nice to look at so let me show you just a simple comparison from my Swiss my first wide body to my Emirates, my biggest wide body. Three engine trijet versus my four engine jumbo jet. It's really sad to see these things go, but thankfully I will have one to cherish here. So, wow, wow, wow. This thing is very heavy for a model like this. And you can. I, I cannot explain this on camera, that's why you have to see at the store and pick these models up and look at the size difference, especially if you're a collector for air, for smaller airports. Oh wow. The 8380 shape itself, um, just raise that a bit, and can I, did I zoom out? I zoomed out as much as I can. That's how big it is, it can't fit all in one camera. Um, the wings are good, I've seen, they're pretty similar shape I, I'm not a hundred percent sure if this is exactly the same but I can see it um maybe uh nah it's good so engine detail here sorry you can't see the cameras kinda bad it is beautiful the razors are also very very nice and the gear here is wobbly by the way so this is not a toy. Don't give this to a kid that's under, like, I don't know, who's not mature. And over here, you can actually tell the difference. I forgot what this is called, but you can actually see that on, like, other models I saw. And lots of antenna work. Nice detail. This The print, nothing's really standing out, which is great. Oh yeah this is if it, my hands are sweating right now making this not any easier to carry and yeah I, I'm just speechless honestly I mean just look at this compare this to the Swiss and the A380 my Emirates A380 and in case you're wondering um this is gonna be flying routes from mainly obviously Dubai and um, Los Angeles maybe you know, just to go through Brussels. But yeah, you have to see this. This is insane. And this experience is really hard to translate into a video. So, again, I strongly recommend you to go to your nearest shop and just touch all these models and feel them. Because this is insane.
I'm just speechless. I'm kind of boring you guys to death, but yeah. I'm just, I just can't explain this. This is just very, too nice for me. So yeah, thank you for watching the video. Sorry if you kind of got bored at the end. Again, visit your local model airplane shop and see this because this is something you have to see once in your life. It's exactly like the real thing, just of course smaller. And yeah, so see ya. Thanks for watching.